from Fox 55 News, this is your local sports. Hey, good evening, everyone. Well, bragging rights will be on the line all across the Summit City on Friday night. That's certainly the case at Carroll, where the Chargers are trying to keep their conference title hopes alive, while Homestead is hoping to take another huge step towards snatching up that victory bell. It's rivalry week, week in the SAC, and Peter Hood has more on the Locker Room's Game of the Week. Jay Prince, it's so close, Homestead can almost taste it. The Spartans are just two wins away from securing the program's first SAC title, but they can't look past a capable Carroll team who, keep in mind, is just a couple plays away from being unbeaten themselves. And while the Chargers Conference Championship hopes are slim even with a win, they'd love nothing more than to ruin their rivals' chances at an undefeated season. It would be incredible if we were able to do that. And I think if we play at our best, we will be able to do that. But um, uh, it would be a great thing to be able to keep them from going undefeated as sort of a uh, last reminder that Carroll comes to play. It's always been a great rivalry. Uh, they beat us the past couple of years. I know last year they blew us out. They handled us pretty well, and they're coming to our house, and we plan to do the same to them this year. Well, this, this week is a different week. You know, this week's a rivalry week. You know, this, this week has significance within the conference. Um, you know, Homestead being a very good football team, and we're playing good football as well. And so, you know, I think that that's what excites you is when you've got two teams that are playing good football, you know, and you're late in the season, and, and it's a quality matchup. These kids uh, enjoy it. They, they, they know each other. You know, they've grown up playing against each other in middle school and uh, probably worked together in some of the summer stuff and you know, the spring stuff. And uh, so it's good to... Um, to, to get to play them, and our kids are excited. You know, it's it's a, the biggest game of the year. Every week we say that, but it, it, it truly is. And these kids kind of circle this one, and they know uh, they get an opportunity to play Carroll. It's a, it's a big deal. Well, every game is a big game to us. Uh, we don't take anybody lightly, but Carroll is definitely someone that we want to come out and punch him in the mouth. Uh, we do not like Carroll very much, so we're hoping to come out and destroy him. I mean, it's huge. I mean, I don't want to graduate saying I lost to Carroll my senior year. Obviously, it's a big week. But we're, we're, what we've been saying all season, 1-0 and each week. Um, each week's the biggest game of the year. So we just got to prepare like it, like our uh, the bell is on the line, like our 9-0 and goal is on the line, which it is. Two of the best teams in the city, two of the best student sections in the state. Should be a great atmosphere here at Gorsuch Field tomorrow night. Kickoff is set for 7 p.m. Of course, we'll have you covered with highlights from this game and nine others in the locker room. Jay Prince. Thanks, Pete. Here's a look at those games he's talking about. Of course, Rivalry Week is always a fun one in the SAC. We'll have a camera at every game in town, including the Battle of the Bishops out at Shields Fields. Outside of the Summit City, a couple of games with conference title implications as East Noble travels on to take Columbia City. West Noble hosts Lakeland. We'll have all that and much more for you tomorrow night at 1030 in the locker room.